much of my work is influenced by a physical experience. The experiences sort of come in viscerally and come out at some point in a visual form. Dancing, where the visceral experience of making sculpture came in. Before that, I did drawings and paintings. But after I started dancing, I decided that I needed to do work in space and I started making installations. My work is typically very process oriented, so basically it's playing around with things. I'm Barbara Campizzi. I'm an installation artist. I've been dancing for over 20 years, and it's been my dream for many, many years to bring the two art forms together. A good friend of mine recommended that I go to the Babayan Cultural Institute, which is a cave residency in Cappadocia, Turkey. The maze of caves there is quite unbelievable. So you get a little cave apartment and a little cave studio and I thought what am I going to make in a cave? I brought my LED lights with me because I had done an LED light piece in the past. Later I got hold of this coroplast corrugated plastic material and I thought oh this this might do something. Started playing around in the cave with my lights, dancing around with it and eventually what came out was a maze. The people who were running the art colony decided that they should invite the villagers in to see the piece. So they had been in this cave and they knew what it looked like, except when they got in there, they were very disoriented. So one of the guys, Mehmet, took out his cell phone and started playing around with it with his light. And then I did the same. And then uh, Paul, who runs the residency, did the same thing. And I realized this is a great thing, the moving lights on the piece. I had long wanted to marry dancing and installations, so I decided this would be the piece. The dancers are gonna be inside the piece, so I'm just letting whatever's gonna happen, happen. If people want to watch from the perimeter, whether they go inside and they decide that they will also interact, it's really up for grabs, anything could happen. Barbara approached me to appear in this piece and this is the first time I'm seeing it actually installed with the lights and it's just basically, as she says, it's a play on sound, light, movement. That's why I'm wearing these beautiful lights. Ta-da! It's a little bit of a maze, so I got lost at certain points. For me, it's sort of symbolic of life. You're getting lost, but it's still a beautiful journey. Somehow you find your way back and you keep it moving. When people come in, they get a light or two to hold and play around with, inspired by the Turkish men and their cell phones. It's disorienting when you first walk in. You don't really know where the lights are coming from or how that's going to work out. But when you shine your own light on it, you can see how they're reflecting off of which panels and maybe guide your way a little bit. What I'm looking for is a lot of lights moving on the piece as you're wandering around it trying to figure out where you are, coming into dead ends, turning around, getting a little lost. When the lights are moving on it, it activates it and it's a, it's a moving, kinetic, living piece. When Barbara started this piece, she had all her lights lit up with button cells or coin cells. I had to work with her to power all the LEDs off of AC power. And one of the tricky parts was um, doing so without um, seeing any of the wires and, and keeping the wires as invisible as possible. The exhibit is a maze and it's challenging because you get lost and you're climbing up and down a ladder and you're trying to um, solder and you're pulling the extension cord through all the different corridors of the maze and it's getting caught on the, the bottoms of the panels and you're balancing yourself uh, holding a soldering iron in one hand and a wire cutter in another hand and electrical tape in your teeth um, just trying to get everything wired together. Having the extension cord was great because it was like leaving a trail of breadcrumbs so I could find my way out of the maze. It's been really easy to lose things in here because there's so many dead ends that you'll think you know a way to go and then you have to double back and try and circle around, try and find a way to get back to where you left it. The more it's gotten together, the more fun it's been to explore. I think if you need to be in a lot of control, this piece might bother you a little bit. And I think that's okay. I think it might 
encourage people to maybe let go a little bit. And I think that's a good thing, particularly when there's music and dancing happening. I think that is another way to have people let down their hair a little bit and, and maybe let down their defenses a little bit and become engaged with the experience. I'm doing the opposite of telling people to get lost. I am telling them to embrace the feeling of perhaps being a bit confused and a bit lost and to see where that takes them. You don't always have to know what the ending is or what the outcome is. You can actually be in the experience. And that's what I'm creating here. I'm trying to create an experience.